Not the first time I've wasted my money on something from FabFitFun. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I am here with a product review video. So I am going to start off, I did my nails today. So I'm gonna start off talking about some nail polish products. I did my FabFitFun unboxing and I mentioned in that video that I had just done my nails with some OPI products and I was really, really disappointed. So I got these in the FabFitFun sale, one of the fall sales, and this is the OPI Nail NV Nail Nail strengthener and I used it as a base coat and then I used a nail color of theirs that I can't locate right now it was a reddish one and it was one that I already had in my stash and they chipped that night it was very disappointing and they continued to chip really bad throughout the rest of the few days that I had them on I finally got that off my nails today and I put this on and this is London Town Lacquer. So I used their nail hardener base coat, this color, which I got all of these in a Fat Fit Fun sale as well. So this color, which is Natural Charm is the name of it. It's kind of like this gray color. There's a hint of brown in it a little bit, I feel. I'm not sure, but I just, in comparison to the OPI, I was just so happy to go back to something that I actually think is decent and actually in comparison it made me love this stuff even more. This was actually also the first time I had used a color color of theirs. I had used their nail concealer which isn't really like a color it's more like a semi-opaque polish that makes your nails look kind of clean and manicured but it's not like a color color so this is the first color of theirs I've used and it went on so very nicely and then something else I like about their stuff is that the brushes are flat like that, which I find to be really important with nail polish. They just go over the entire nail on some, in some cases, not your thumb. And to do one coat, it takes like two strokes. So it goes really quickly. And then I remember when I used these before, they last about a week and that's a good amount of time. And the color's really even, it was really, really easy to do a good job. And this is a dark color too. Dark colors can be really difficult to work with. So I was really, really happy with that. I'm really happy with my nails. I haven't done my nails much at all in quarantine and finally I just thought, you know what, I need to start paying attention to myself more because I let myself go. So I used those three and then on top of it I used their accelerating drying oil and this worked really well. I'm really enthused obviously about the London Town stuff right now. I had already said good things about their stuff but right now I am saying more good things about them. So the OPI, big thumbs down, and the London Town, big thumbs up. I also, while I'm at it, and this isn't from FabFitFun, but I feel like going through my nail polishes now, and some of them are like 20 years old, so I really need to. The Essie products. Essie also does the same thing. I've never really had any luck with Essie, so this is a shade that I bought, I don't know, a few years back, and I thought I'd give them another try in the shade Hear Me, Aurora. So I am going to put this in my donate bin along with these OPI polishes. So this was a big waste of money. It's not the first time I've wasted my money on something from FabFitFun. I should try to put together a little montage of all the times I've talked about products that were just a big thumbs downs for me. That's my nail polish rant. I have some things that aren't from FabFitFun in here, but most of it is. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to talk about, if you missed my nighttime skincare routine video, you may have that video and get very many views. I I talked about these. These are the Design Me Puff Me Volumizing Shampoo and Conditioner. This is the shampoo, this is the conditioner, and I love these. <laughs> So much. When I use these and then put a little bit of product in my hair, my hair, I, that's not what I use this time, so it's lit, my hair is very flat again, but my hair was just so fluffy and I'm trying to recreate it and it's not like that right now, so I don't know what I'm doing, but it was so fluffy and just like kind of like so easy to flip back and forth. And if you have curly hair, you know how amazing that is. On to the next product. This time I used 
just the volumizing shampoo and I use the VAR Rhythm of the Rain hair mask. There's water in it and it just drips because I just took it out of my shower. Oh well. Oh, it's happening again. Where was I? So I used the shampoo and then I used the hair mask. That was the second time I've used the hair mask. I like to try to use a product three times before I form an opinion about it. Sometimes it's pretty much a slam dunk, yes or no, but three times is like my magic number. I've used this twice and I haven't really formed a solid, solid opinion, but my first impression is that it's a very like, okay hair mask. I'm not terribly impressed. It comes out and it feels really, really thick. And that kind of gave me a false sense of security and high hopes for it. You put it on and it feels like it should be doing a whole lot. But then once I rinse it out and I'm trying to brush my hair, my hair is just as tangled. I like, I like it when a hair mask makes my hair feel like kind of slippery and like soft once it dries. This thing is just dripping everywhere. So it, it's very much okay and it like kind of fooled me at first. I thought with how thick it was, it was going to be really nourishing and something really earth shattering, but no. This is the second product of theirs. Where is it coming from? Oh my gosh, it just keeps on dripping. This is the second product I've tried from them. And the other one was their shampoo and conditioner. Also, I got it from FabFitFun and I had kind of the same reaction, which was just, it's okay. Actually, at first I really just liked those, but then they grew on me to a point where I thought, they're fine. Okay, and then another hair product is this, r Co Analog Cleansing Foam Conditioner. I have such a love-hate relationship with r Co. So this, functionally, was great. I have never liked like shampoo conditioner combos, just never liked them, and that's what this is, and so I thought I would give it a try, and functionally, it's wonderful. It feels good, and I actually didn't miss having the conditioning step, but it smells like bleach. It smells like bleach. I don't know what they're doing with their fragrances sometimes, but that is usually what my problem is with them. I used their moisturizing shampoo and conditioner and I just didn't think it did anything for my hair. Actually, I felt like it was a little bit drying and that was really overly perfumed. <laughs> my necklace twisted. No one told me. It smells like bleach. It's just a big no. Big no. So this is going in donation bin right now. And now I want to talk about some deodorants. So this is not a that fun product, but this one is, but I figured I haven't talked to you about this one. So I'm going to tell you my opinion. This is the Schmitz Charcoal and Magnesium Mineral Enriched Natural Deodorant. If you are looking for a deodorant without baking soda because you are allergic, this one has baking soda, so don't get excited. But if you aren't allergic to baking soda, I do recommend just their whole line of natural deodorants. They have a whole bunch of different scents. I like this one. I do feel like this one has worked the best of the ones I've tried. I haven't, I think I've tried actually like two only, and this one worked better than the other. This one smells a little bit like men's deodorant, and I think you can kind of tell by the coloring of the packaging that they might be gearing this one toward men, but I just feel like it works really well, and it's not an overpowering scent at all. I don't smell it as I wear it and it works. It works really well. It works for more than a day because, you know, quarantine, I'm not necessarily remembering to shower daily. Days are just blurring together and I don't get stinky and I'm wearing this. So one complaint I have is that you can see like how rigid and bumpy that is. I think that that might be like big clumps of baking soda and it can get pretty like sharp to rub on your underarms. You just kind of gotta brace yourself and deal with it and then it like does rub off so it feels like it looks like you have like clumps of like salt or something on it and you kind of have to just rub it in and it's fine that's the only complaint about the application but the rest of it is really good and you can find these at tj maxx and whatnot they they are all over the place. And then the next deodorant that is from FabFitFun, actually a friend, a subscriber friend sent this to me. So I didn't buy it from FabFitFun, but you can buy it from FabFitFun. Sometimes they're available. This one I think is a mini. And this is the Type A Aluminum Free Deodorant in the shade, the vi in the shade in the scent The Visionary and it's clean, crisp citron. It is a very subtle citron. Yeah, that's very accurate. Very subtle scent. And this one works as well. I do feel like it doesn't work quite as well as the other one. And you have to squeeze out product to put it on. 
and I do have to squeeze out quite a bit, which is totally fine, but the only complaint I've ever read about this one is sometimes that people have struggled to squeeze the product out. I could see that maybe happening if you live where it gets really, really cold and this gets cold and the stuff just isn't as runny as it needs to be to be squeezed out and people have complained about it splitting at the top even from that. I'm not sure, it hasn't happened to me. And then the next product I have to talk about, this scrunchie, this is from Ulta. This is the Kitsch brand. I was hesitant to like jump on board with the scrunchie fad. I just kind of thought, oh wow, they brought back scrunchies, great. But this is a small, simple satin scrunchie and it was like $8 for a pack of five from Ulta from this brand and this has by far surpassed Invisibobbles for me like by far like I haven't used Invisibobbles at all since I bought these I find these to be even gentler on my hair and easier to just grab and pull out when I have my hair in a ponytail so I have not reached for the Invisibobbles I never really loved the Invisibobbles they were just better than the elastics because they weren't tugging on my hair as much but this is actually a pleasure to use so I am now on board with scrunchy fad very surprised about that I do recommend them and then the next thing I have is the ColourPop pretty fresh hyaluronic acid tinted moisturizer I have it in the shade light N, light neutral and I used this and it's wonderful except for that for me I wanted with a tinted moisturizer I wanted it to go on and be something that I didn't need to use much else of it would just be kind of like a nice layer of blurring moisturizer right where I didn't have to put on too too much else maybe a little bit of bronzer maybe a little bit of blush but this went on so tacky that I needed a lot of powder to get the tackiness to go away so that was a big bummer it still looked nice and powders fine but for me personally that's not what I wanted out of a tinted moisturizer so that was a bummer but I'm still gonna use this it's still a good match for my skin and I did like it otherwise. Ooh, this one is from FabFitFun. This is the Kaja Lip something or other. Heart Melter. This is the Kaja Heart Melter in the shade Crush Hard. And I have been using this a lot already and I only just got it. So it's super cute. It has a little heart end and you pump it, you pump it up. You push the product up, push it up, push it up by clicking on this like a pen. And then it very, very slowly starts to get pushed up. The one complaint about this is that you can't retract it once you push it up. But once I got it, like, I could sit here and push it 10 times and it will barely move up. So I pushed it three times just now and it's not much different. So I've been using this a lot actually. I use this, I just accidentally clicked it again. I use this, I keep it at my desk and if I need to hop onto Zoom, <laughs> this is what I've resorted to lately. If I need to randomly hop onto Zoom, like an unexpected Zoom meeting with somebody and I haven't put myself together, I will throw on blue light blockers and I will put on some of this. <laughs> so they can't see my eyes and then I look like I'm wearing lip color and then I look halfway decent for the zoom call so I do really like it it feels really really nourishing on the skin the color is fantastic oh let me show you the color the color is fantastic very very neutral very everyday it lasts it actually lasts I don't know what I really thought of this it's called a moisture melt lip gloss stick so I kind of thought it was going to be more like a tinted chapstick but it is far superior to tinted chapstick it, it make no mistake it's really really good and it feels good it feels moisturizing it lasts and after wearing it a little bit it actually kind of stopped transferring onto my beverage which is a big plus for me the next thing I'm going to talk about is this little itty bitty guy this is the milk makeup vegan milk moisturizer and it looks like this why do I have this? Oh, I got it in a Sephora pop set. It was a little sampler, and so it is tiny, teeny, tiny, but I have a feeling we're gonna start seeing this in FabFitFun sales, so I wanted to tell you what I thought. I've actually used this at night, like, five times, so I've gotten a good amount of use out of that. A little goes a long way, apparently. Check that out. So this is a very good moisturizer, but I don't know that you would like it if you have oilier skin. I have dry skin, and it is very thick. It feels like a rich moisturizer go 
going onto your skin and I liked it. I liked it a lot. I was pleasantly surprised. I often hear really mixed reviews about milk makeup products. It seems like there are two kinds of people in this world, those who like milk makeup and those who don't, but I really, I liked it. I enjoyed using this. I still am enjoying using it. The next thing I want to talk about, this is the e.l.f. Marshmallow Soothing Mask and I got this at TJ Maxx. Look at that packaging. Isn't that so beautiful? I love the frosted glass look, although this is plastic. This is kind of like the consistency of a mud mask. It's like a very weak mud mask. I wasn't terribly impressed by this and I haven't heard the best things about e.l.f. skincare products, although a good friend of mine did tell me that she used something from them recently that she just loved that was skincare. So there's that. But this one, I kind of say I was unimpressed with it. I've only used it once and like I said, I like to use something three times before I really finalize my opinion about it. So I will use it a couple more times. This is a first impression review for sure. So I'll use it a couple more times and then I, I will up Update you on what I think about this. So this one is an empty. This is the DP Hue Apple Cider Vinegar Hair Mask and I enjoyed using this. It is strong. <laughs> God. It's a good smell. <clears throat> it very much smells like a masculine scent though. It's got that, it's got kind of like that men's cologne type spicy scent or men's deodorant type scent, which is fine, but I don't typically like that kind of scent on myself. But it smells really, really good. If my husband smelled like this, I would be like, ooh, can I kiss you please? It's that kind of scent. So aside from that, it had kind of like a whipped texture and it felt nice in my hair. I wasn't terribly impressed by this. I used it, was kind of looking forward to it being over. I I think mainly because of the scent and then also I didn't feel like it was doing anything in particular to my hair like nothing noticeable there have been only a few hair masks where I felt oh that's doing something for me so this is a pass I wouldn't buy this again I didn't mind using it though so next I'm gonna talk about this it's on my eyes right now I just filmed to get ready with me which you may or may not ever see I just wanted to put my makeup on and I figured I would film it so I used this this for the first time. It's the e.l.f. Bite Size Eyeshadow in Truffles. And so they have several different little palettes. They're three bucks. They're recommended all over YouTube and I get it. It totally makes sense. It was super easy to apply. And, and you know, the palette's right there. Like you can't mismatch. You can't go wrong. You can't make a mistake. You can't make a mistake with this little thing. And it's super compact. You want to go on a trip? This is all you need. You don't need to bring a big, huge palette. So that's also really cool. They really got it right with this palette into it. And lastly, this is the Giovanni Tea Tree Triple Threat Invigorating Shampoo for All Hair Types. And this came as a freebie in a FabFitFun sale like a year ago probably. And I had it, I figured why not? I'm just gonna use this. And then I used a hair mask in conjunction with it. So this was actually fine. It was good. There was a smell to it. I think it was the tea tree that I didn't really like. I could smell the peppermint. It contains botanical oils of cooling peppermint conditioning rosemary and clarifying eucalyptus so all of those scents were fine but the tea tree in it I could smell and I think that that was the scent that kind of put me off a little bit I don't know what you call it like there's top notes middle notes and bottom notes it was the scent that I was left with so is that the bottom note I don't know at first first I smelled the peppermint and then I could kind of smell the other botanical scents and then at the end washing it out I was left with a tea tree scent which I guess I'm learning that I'm not the biggest fan of tea tree. It was fine though. I used it up and it was decent. So I have been talking for a while. I'm going to stop there. I have many more products I can tell you about. So if you haven't subscribed, definitely consider subscribing and look out for future product review videos. I make these regularly. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.